Radio. Hello, everyone, and I'm your host, Shan Coughlin. This is Teed Up Grand Strand. Mr. Jeff Pianelli was talking through our introduction, but we're oh going to let God. him stay anyway. Sorry. No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I have to give him a hard time. No, Mr. Jeff Pianelli is here with us from River's Edge Golf Club. How are you doing? I'm good. Thought out. Thought out? Yeah. Absolutely. It's beautiful. Listen. The sun almost came out today. It's Just always it. out in Myrtle wow. Beach, South Carolina. And next week, we looked at, I looked at the forecast. The low every day next week does not drop below 52. It's pretty awesome. Yes. It's like the beach. Let's yes. Talk, let's talk it. about the highs. Yes, the highs, mid-60s, <laughs> and I saw 70s two days. So everyone who's still like, oh, all the cars on the road with all the ice and the salt and everything, mm-hmm. we're so happy to have you. So if you are sitting in snow right now and you need some 70-degree weather, um, I think you feel a little tickle in your throat coming on. You might have to pull a few sick days next week and get yourself <laughs> down to the beach. Um, the flu is going around. The whole office might just go. Yeah, bring the office. It's just a rejuvenation trip. We have room for corporate outings. 18 holes, we can fit at least two teams a hole. Absolutely. Get the whole office out there, a good time. Nice, and even those who don't play golf, you guys have that beautiful porch out back. There's drinks, there's food. What else do you need? I mean, that's about it. Drinks, food, 70 degree weather. Big old beach out back, all set. Jeff brought notes today. I did. It was because it was because last time and and folks, if you're listening to us on an app, oh boy, you have to go back to thegolfdirector.com, click on the TGD TV tab, go to Jeff's last interview. We spent almost the whole time talking about his underwear. You're and I, you're, you're making me relive that. I am, <laughs> and you're wearing them today, right? I'm a full supporter. No. <laughs> Hey, we have to. I, my husband wears them. Uh, to the two unders, we got to give a plug. Jeff says they changed his life. The other Jeff, our producer Jeff, says they changed his life. Did they change your life? They have. I'm. I feel bad for Johnson and Johnson. Something about a Joey pouch. I don't know. It's just, it's a, it is a game. It's a game changer. <laughs> it's it a really game is. changer. Yeah. So uh, no, we'll we'll have to move on. You just yes, have to go no, back no, and, and See, look we're, at it. We're going down the road again. No, we can't. We're going to dive right back in underwear. No, no, no. Get back no on underwear. the cart path. Yeah, we need to get back on the car path <laughs> our, from our like producer. That. All right, so you brought notes. So what's the first thing on your note page the, say? The first thing, I want to congratulate uh, the Godfather for a good showing in the first River's Edge scramble last month. Wait, we have to give George kudos? Well, you don't. Okay. <laughs> we'll just, Sorry, George. <laughs> it's third-party kudos. I'll so he did, he did well? They did. They were, uh, I think they were in overall fourth. Okay. Uh, match of cards, put them out of the top three, but... All right. I think they were right around 62, nice. 61 area. Yeah. Cheaters. I'm just yeah. kidding. No. Well, it's questionable. We had some members win. Uh, so we had to put a little asterisk on their win. A little asterisk. But, so you're bringing up the scramble because I think there's another one coming up? There is. And due to the weather you just spoke about, we actually lost a couple teams uh, about two days ago. So if anybody's out there and wants to play on the 28th, uh, shotgun starts at 1030. February 28th? February 28th. We're going to go through the same... Uh, run we did last month um depending on the size of the field varies the size of the television we can give away but we're going to do another television last time you gave away a flat screen that was how big uh 44 155 40. it was 55, 55. i'm sorry you're right yes. that's right i was trying yes. to set you up to like be the hero but i came in and had well, to save you i was trying you. to downplay it oh sorry no it was a 50 it was a big a tv yeah. 55 inches. Kind of hurt to go home to a smaller television. Did it? <laughs> had I you should have just swapped them. In the you boxes. had to try it out a little bit first. Is that what we're hearing? <laughs> you had to test it, it. make sure it was it. working. All right. So the scrambles on the 28th. Mm-hmm. You got to call Jeff at the Pro Shop Rivers Edge. Give him the number. 910-755-3434. These are two-person or four-person teams? Four-person. You, you need four-person team? Men or mixed. Men or mixed. If you have three, it's okay. We you just go by the honesty can't have all women. You can have all women. Okay, just checking. Well, we're like I said, we're <laughs> we're lady friendly up there. Just we need more ladies to kind of group together. All right. So to as soon friend, as we have to enough, be friendly with what's that? To, more ladies to be friendly with. That never hurts. <laughs> oh man! Wow, he didn't want to go I there. Feel like did I, get, he? I get set up up here every time. Well, hey, Chris didn't let us do it to him today because he had a guest, so we had to double up on you. Uh. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, you want to come back up here? <laughs> Chris Jones still okay. in the house. <laughs> All right, so that scramble's coming up February 28th, mm-hmm. giving away another big TV. Another big TV. We've got breakfast, uh, lunch. Um, we don't have the menu set yet. Okay. We did tacos on the last one. That's How much a big is it? hit up there. 
Uh, it's 45 for non-members. You've got uh, third. I'm sorry, 40 for the passport or GSGA. Okay. And as always, the platinum's a little cheaper. It's 35. Yep. Get that information towards your towards your round credit as well. Oh, nice. So yeah. get that information on the platinum card at platinumgolfmembership.com. Every time you play four rounds at the same facility, you get the fifth one for free. And I've been in a pro shop. I think I was at y'all's pro shop mm-hmm. when someone came through, paid for that fourth round, and it just printed out. And they like it was it's like, like a Christmas. Yeah, yeah, it's like winning the lottery. You hear the same printer go off, but it's got a different tone because mm. it's free. There you go. Okay. What's uh, what's next on your little note? We I'm very through, impressed with the notes, by the way. Yeah, you know, well, penmanship. I went to the print. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we did a big golf shop renovation and uh, update to the grill, uh, the double eagle grill, as we call it. Um, took a wall out. My old office has moved. Okay. Which works out for me. I'm a little, um, what's the word? I'm a little claustrophobic. Yeah, that was a closet before. Yeah, it was a little (laughs) awkward. So thankfully that's moved. Um, I get to climb the steps, which I heard is good for you. Yeah. Steps. Stop. I'm just saying. Stop. It, Not for good. you. I don't mean you personally. Oh, you <laughs> okay, so totally for, forgot. Sorry. Yeah, you we, just stepped into that one. I snapped my calf jumping up the steps at uh, River's Edge. But you did. It got me a lot of sympathy, so I'm kind of okay with it. You actually, it's fine you, now. I, I know we did this before, but you handled that very well. Thank you. I don't even know if there was a, there may have been one cuss. Maybe. And it was probably right, like, right when it happened. Well, I, I was in shock, but I was in shock. But after know? that, she just kind of hung out. Mm-hmm. No, we were good. The Look Godfather at, is in the house. Yes. Good Lord. We gave him the accolades and he had to come out of hiding. Good hair day. <laughs> we're getting the thumbs up. All right, back to you. I'm back sorry, to the I'm stuff. Sorry. Yeah, so we oh, took stay a Stay on the car path. We took a, we t- I like that. Yeah. I really do. Um, Who came up with that? I don't remember. James Biggs. He is. Just, he's like the he's like the Justin Timberlake of golf. Yeah, he is. <laughs> uh, 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 that's he, a no, great, oh, my God. That is a great <laughs> analogy. Like a triple threat. Uh, yeah, he is. Wow. He really is. I don't know yeah. if we're going to be able to live with him now. The JT of golf? I don't well, just don't tell mm-hmm. him I said it. Cause yeah. Okay. Yeah, that'd be a little that'd be weird. A little harder for yeah. me now. That'd be a little weird if you okay, said Okay, considering it. he watches all our programming, yeah. you're stuck. But he hosted that whole segment with the PGA. Yeah. Thank you again for you guys yeah. Absolutely. able to do that. But he, I'm just, try, I'm just trying to learn from the man. Yeah. It's, uh, he does it well. But anyway, so we got the uh, golf shop renovation. We did a yep. little uh, facelift to it. Um more room for stuff. You got more stuff a lot coming more in. Room for stuff. A lot more square footage. Sellable space. Nice. Yeah. Everybody's excited. Bright colors this for the spring. We've got bright colors coming. We've got uh, some more ladies' wear. We're going to do nice. kind of a ladies' section. Okay. Um, but again, that just that office opening. Plus, we moved the counter back a little bit. So, um, if you haven't been there in the last week or so, I'm, I'm just about finished. Okay. It was a couple of guys um, and yours truly. Nice. So I, I promise nice. all the lights are are safe. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's fallen yet. Okay, you've practiced. Uh, <clears throat> you, or you've, you've put it into yourself, so you know how it is. <laughs> and then the restaurant renovation is more of a sports bar, sports bar feel. Okay, lots there. more TVs. We added more TVs. Um, we went to the um, HD look for everything. Not that we nice. weren't HD. It was just the television we had was, 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 was from back there. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. It was like the first flat screen. It was 150 pounds. <laughs> You know, we put you put the new TV in. It's it's 15 inches bigger. You and could you can like throw lift it, it with around. two fingers. Yeah. Well, I went to take the other one off the wall and I gave myself a hernia. <laughs> Jeez. So, but it's good. We we hung it back up and it's to never move again. Nice. We put a little post-it note on there. Um, also upgraded to Pepsi over Coke. Okay. Not, not as a Pepsi plug, but yeah. Um, we've gone blue. Yep, gone blue. So the staff's all excited. Nice. And uh, no, it's just a lot of things moving in the right direction. Okay. Go Pepsi. In good shape. It's a little wet right now, but. Like I said, that little, that ball of gas you were talking about, the sun is, is is starting to do its sunning thing. It is. I can't wait. May even need sunscreen soon. You're supposed to wear sunscreen all the time, Jeff. That's true. Yeah, you that's still get the where rays. I got the, yeah. You still get where you got the little yeah, splotchy. That's the mom, that's, yeah. It's Thank the mom in me. Yeah, I can't help it. <laughs> you are right, though. I, you're supposed to wear sunscreen all the time. It doesn't even feel bad when you're right. See, when mom's right, you're like, oh, man, she's mm-hmm. right. But I'm somebody else's mom, so it's okay. It's okay that the way. The fact that you would even think of me as your mom is weird. No, 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 not like that. You'd be more like a, you'd be more like a, a cousin. Cousin. <laughs> Let's move on from there, shall okay. we? All right. You have more notes. That was a good cart path pull there. Yeah. Well, Wasn't even like a bumper. No. Yeah. Okay. We just went off. Uh, and then this summer coming up, we're going to uh, go forward with more of the PGA programs. Uh, there's a junior golf league. Mm-hmm. Um, that's kind of a team event. Okay, I love this concept. We talked about this last year, and we mm-hmm. even had the junior league people on. So I'm totally interrupting you on this. That's I love okay. this team, for it. team concept. 
Um, I have a, a soccer player, and so they were asking me some questions about this. Actually, two years ago at mm-hmm. the PGA show, they were trying to pull some soccer moms in to see if we felt like this would bring more players. And absolutely, you give a kid a jersey with a number and let yep. – if they're playing bad, they get to tag out, you know, and put somebody else in. That's right. I love it. I love it because then you don't have to feel bad because some days you just have a bad day, and kids take that hard. Well, and you think of – if you played baseball or you played soccer growing up, mm-hmm. you always can relate. You know, you turn on the World Cup. I know we don't watch a lot of soccer here, even though we have our own major league, you know, yeah, organization. Stuff, yeah. But and it's getting bigger, though. When when the World Cup comes on, you always mm-hmm. feel like, oh, no, no, I know what's going on here. Because mm-hmm. I, I played it when I was five. Right. And, you know, we used to run around and the, the all 20 kids on the field just follow the ball. <laughs> it's like a blob of <laughs> children and <laughs> colors. But just the uniform. Um, I know – you hear the stories of the other of the other professionals that have tried it, and when they open, they call it the magic box. When they open the box and yes. they pull those jerseys out, absolutely, you know, it changes. It changes golf. It's very. It's a selfish game at times when you're in the competitive world. Right. If you just think of the Ryder Cup difference versus the fun you have watching the mm-hmm. Ryder Cup versus the fun you have watching any other tournament aside from a major. Absolutely. You know, it's always you're out for me, and then with this deal, you're out for we. And it, if somebody's doesn't play well or you hit a ball out of bounds or there's always somebody right behind you to play again so it's exactly you know i know scramble golf can be fun so yeah no i love so y'all are gonna have a junior golf league we're gonna, up we're gonna try river's edge i know we've got a, a couple other clubs in the area you got crow creek up there the pearl sandpiper um brick landing mm-hmm. uh brunswick we're in the infant stages of it okay but you've got to get enough to have teams together and then play each other right and i know in our neighborhood uh i don't know if we have that many juniors but to be a host site uh we're going to try going through west brunswick high school okay uh, we host their we're the practice facility or the second practice facility for the high school golf team so nice it should be a good end just try to get more people into into golf absolutely now, because i'm not ready for foot golf yet i can't go down oh i love foot golf though it's, that's it's just cool. another one you know i mean i watched a little youtube thing the guy was explaining chipping and you can only step once and mm-hmm. have you played it yet that's probably why i haven't embraced it yet okay you and i are going to go out to farmstead and which is our closest foot golf and and we'll play one i told you i just kicked the ice cream habit so i need to get that's right a little more stable and then we can <laughs> you're fine yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh no, i could I mean, be a good driver i think with but, foot golf but that's probably just make more putts. An, yeah that's just another way to get people out on the course because here's the thing the kids can't drive themselves yet right so mom or dad has to go mm-hmm. and let's say they had never been interested in golf before this is a way to ease into it because golf is not an easy sport correct but this is a way to ease into it and i love it i'm so excited y'all are going to do it so let us know how we can help you okay all right awesome. we'll keep awesome. promoting it okay good all right, so that's the junior be, golf thing. You can't thing. beat being on a golf course, though, really. I don't know. But you got to get the bug. Do you remember that's when true. Do you remember when the bug bit you? Mm-hmm. When? I, I was, uh, I think I was 14. Mm-hmm. I still have the picture. I was wearing, my dad had, was a big Norman <laughs> fan. Okay. Which is funny if you saw my dad. But <laughs> okay. Because he's not, he's not a Norman-looking guy. Okay. And, um. There's a Norman look? Well, you know, the Aussie with the blonde. You could work the the. I can, Norman look. Oh, well, see, my dad looks exactly like Jack Nicholas. That makes sense. So we were Jack Nicholas people. Okay. Sorry. Flying, so I, I kind of get it, I guess. Blocks. Yeah. But All no, right. I had so, the, uh, so I had the, the big black Norman hat, the big visor. Nice. Not visor, the, uh, the, not a sombrero. What do they call the, that thing? Like a cowboy hat looking thing? Yeah. 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 I had that, some. <laughs> <laughs> They're laughing at us. It's sunglasses good. out of his car. And it, I, I think I was allowed, I was chipping. Mm-hmm. And that's when I really got the hang of it. Um. Because I'd go with him when he'd go play, and mm-hmm. he'd let me, you know, stick around the short game area just to make sure I didn't ever have that awkward feeling of there's somebody behind you with the legs crossed, leaning on the club, giving you the stare. Yes. Um, I think yes. that's part of it. I think the whole, the more everyone can embrace uh, new players and not just be so concerned with, I want to play in four hours and four hours. Right. You'll play faster, but it, the more people that do play, the better everything gets. Absolutely. As far as conditioning. To yep. The everything. Whole deal. I right. remember when I got the bug, um, I was a tennis player at our country club. And so they had this event. And so it was a daddy daughter thing. You and loved it. I, well, I loved the tennis part. Okay. And then we had to go play golf and I'd never played golf before. And oh so boy. being a teenager, you didn't want to look stupid because there were there was a it was mommy son father daughter so the boys were there and so i didn't want to look dumb it's so all my, about looking cool yeah right? it was back then and so 
Well, it kind of still is, yeah. But the uh, we're out there, and I'm like, Dad, I don't, I don't know how to hit the ball. I don't want to hit the ball. I, did, I don't want to do the golf part. Can I just – because it was a um, scramble, you know, because they knew the parents would do it. He said, take this th- – back then, take this three iron and just smack the ball. Just – I don't care how you hit it. I don't even care if you swing right. Just make sure <laughs> you make – con take the club back and just hit the ball. That's right. And as long as you do that, you'll be fine. And I was like, fine. And I probably had attitude. You know, I was 13, 14 years I can't, old. I can't imagine. No. That. And uh, gosh darn, I smacked it like 120 yards. <laughs> and I looked at him and I said, is this what golf feels like? He's like, when you hit it, good. Well, I didn't hit another good shot all day and I didn't care. But it still was, had the I had the bug. Though. And right. I didn't play, actually play golf, though, again, because then we went back to playing tennis until I was 18 and took a job at a golf course. And the first round out, I had a par. And, I, and that was it. I was cool. done. I was done. And um, anyway. It's a time machine hot fi- high five. There you go. Okay. Sorry. I'll no, that, that's, we're off again. But that's great. Anyway. No, just with, this, just with the smack it part. I know for yeah. lessons and things, when you really start to, to open the door up to, it doesn't even have to be a new player. Mm-hmm. You know, when, when people watch too much golf or you watch too much instruction, mm-hmm. it's like anything else. I mean, you can watch too much stuff on uh, – on business and how to yeah you got too much going on and, in your head and, right just yes. take it back and just try to bury the golf ball in the ground yeah and when you let oh, women in general when i have the ladies lessons <laughs> i just say i just want you to smack the just smack Crud. the crap out of this yeah. thing mm-hmm. and when they finally do it mm-hmm. they turn around like oh my god that was that was awesome it really felt good yeah. I, was like, yeah, I just get angry and hit it <laughs> Because you know, we all want to be so prim and proper, like well, back yeah. and the forward. Pro, the pros make it look smooth because there's yeah. no there's no hesitation. Right. It's like anything else. It's like if you go to if you're walking. Right. You know, I, I, you go to step over a crack or something gets in your way. You have that hesitation. Mm-hmm. Move. No one looks cool when you do that. No, no one looks cool when you slip. Yeah. You don't want to slip. No. And you have that awkward. I slipped, and I think people saw me, but I'm not sure. Moment. Yep. You know. I know. So then you walk a little quicker wherever you're going. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, <laughs> golf, same thing. <laughs> Just get angry and go as fast as you can. Yep. And to see people once once they have that moment or mm-hmm. they catch that feeling, then it's a whole different it. yeah, it's a whole different ball game. They come out to the golf course excited. They, I mean, on our side, maybe they spend a little more money, which no one's ever going to be upset with. Yeah. But it's just a, it's a great game. You can go until you can't move. You and y'all tested that with the hundred holes. Oh. <laughs> for Patriot Golf we Day, we could move until the next day. Yeah. The next day was, <laughs> Although from. Brett Thomaswick tells me he was fine. He doesn't know what y'all oh, are talking about. That's he does that whole <laughs> yoga thing. He was. We're on like our 90th hole, and he's got his heel up to his back of his head, and which he's like six foot five. So yeah, he's this a is large. He's a tall drink of water. Yeah, he's. It's not like he's. It's like a 36 yeah. leg, <laughs> you know. And I thought I was. I thought I was tall, but no, we had a, we had a blast with that, and he keeps pushing the uh, yoga to the group. You know, I love yoga. I can't. I'd have to mind. practice. So I'm in the same boat. I don't want to look stupid. Yeah. So if when I do go, I don't want to be grunting at like downward dog. I, I, w- <laughs> I will tell you. I tried it. At the 6 a.m. yoga <clears throat> class down in Myrtle Beach at the yoga studio, it's almost all men. Make, it's well, 6 a.m. makes sense. More men than women. Like sneak in there. Hopefully yeah. no one's up yet. So it's, uh, it's pretty popular for, with the men. Anyway. I could try it, you know. I like uh, child's pose. We just lay on the ground. The yeah. <laughs> it's a breathing exercise. Yeah. That's what I go with. There you go. All right. So you're. <laughs> I don't even. Which know. would help. With, it does help with golf, though. No, to keep it semi. <laughs> this isn't going well. I think it's but going if you great. Can, if you can keep it, if you do things like that, mm-hmm. uh, stretching and and breathing, right. and that's what makes golf that much easier, easier. on your body. Absolutely. You know? And if you do it right, you shouldn't hurt yourself. Right. All right, so you're going to have the Junior Golf League out mm-hmm. there. So we're going to have kids in a uniform doing yoga poses. We're hoping to, right. <laughs> Brett's going to be on the on the 10th tee. <laughs> I can't remember the name He's of it. He's going to scare the heck out of Crouching him. something. <laughs> but he did. He had his arm. I mean, yeah, it was, I, I was impressed. Yeah. It really was. It's, yeah. um, All right, and then you're also doing Play Golf America, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, tell us about that, and then we're probably going to have to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the good thing is we kind of covered some of this. The okay, Play Golf good. America idea um, is to get folks that are either afraid of it, new to it, um, trying to get back into it. Mm-hmm. It's a five-lesson program. 
Uh, we don't have prices set yet, but uh, the idea is to get more on-course experiences. Which makes total sense, because I don't know how many times I've heard people say, I hit it great on the range. Well, of course yep. you did. It, it's not the same lie. It's not the same stuff in front of you. Exactly. You hit a bad one, there's another one right there. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I like watching when the when someone will miss on the range. Mm -hmm. There's another ball in and in queue before the next one, first one landed. Landed, yeah. <laughs> But the on-course experience, not just for the playing part, but to almost break the ice of that, that uh, the feeling you were just talking about, where yep. you're out there and you, you feel like everyone else, if they've been there before, that they're a pro and they know exactly how to do right. everything. And, right. and none of us really do. But to give them more opportunities around a bunker and how to deal mm -hmm. with walking on a green or tending a flag stick. And mm -hmm. It's not just instruction. It's more an introduction. I like that. I so, like that a lot. You know, for us, I'm excited to get – to get started with some of these programs just to see new faces right. and to you know the more the, we need to continue to kind of make up new ways to get people out exactly and i think it's good too for um ladies who definitely. to definitely take advantage of this program because it does give you five lessons um you it's already set and by the time you're out there five times you're going to know what to do right it's kind of like you know walking into a new shoe department ladies i'll just give us an analogy we all understand you don't know where all your favorite shoes are yet you got to do the whole thing but once you've been there a few times you can go directly where you need to go it's definitely like shoe shopping get what you like done <laughs> no i mean in the no, I'm with you. See, i would need i thing. would need a wear golf wear shoes america thing i would do it yeah there you go because i don't know yeah i'm you gonna know? take you to play foot golf you'll know exactly what i mean oh boy yeah <laughs> Jason, we're coming for you. <laughs> All right, I think our time is way up. <laughs> so was, we're going to save some for next time. This is good. We only tapped on the underwear one time. Yeah, the two unders. Mm -hmm. But they are, let me tell you, if you're not um, from the Carolinas or haven't seen these yet, I think they're all across the Carolinas in the pro mm -hmm. shops. Um, they have they are changing men's lives. And as the woman who does the laundry in my house, every time they come out of the laundry, they're softer. I can say that. You can say that. So, yep. They look. That's, that's when I asked my husband what they were because I'm like, these look brand new right out of the laundry like for the eighth time <laughs> and they're getting softer he's like i know and so then i had to get the whole story so then i met the guys down okay. at the pga show and was Beautiful. asking them about it and the whole jade thing and the, the cooling thing and mm -hmm. yeah there's science in there it's not just yeah i'm waiting for the two overs the new sports so they're gonna I. do a sports bra i, I was you hoping that was gonna be already <laughs> no not for not for me <laughs> i just want to see it you know all right the prototype or however that program yeah. works i don't know anything about sports bras so mm. it's just yeah, kind of the, that would help the ladies' yeah. sales. You know, absolutely. No, it, if it's life changing in underwear, I can't imagine what the sports bras are going to do. So, come on, two under, bring them on. All right, so we've got um, go to the website river eighteen dot com mm -hmm. river eighteen dot com. You're going to put all this stuff up there. Mm -hmm. Is that the best place to find it? That would be the best place, or you can. I know they can go to our site through your site. Yes, or the platinum site. Oh, the platinum we're, we're site. Kind too. of everywhere. Yes. Yeah, so if you're on the golf director dot com, click on the banner. Um, that says River's Edge. You can also go to their course page under Destinations Myrtle Beach. Mm -hmm. um, and don't be afraid when you see their actual address because the city actually says Same, what? Uh, Shalote. Shalote, North Carolina. You're only, what, 20 minutes from here? Yeah, we are. If you've ever been even to Crow Creek, we're about 12 minutes north of Crow Creek. So, so it's, it's not it's, far. It's all the same. It's the same town. We just, uh, they want to break it down for... Mm -hmm. Taxes, maybe. I don't know. I, don't know. I just hit just something and we, we got a noise in here, that so I apologize me. for that. I think that was me. Oh, okay. I'm blaming you. Okay. Thank you so much for coming an in. Elephant in here. <laughs> we'll look forward to the uh, TV giveaway at the um, Scramble, Scramble tournament on the 28th. Mm -hmm. Look forward to seeing the kids out there for the junior league. So if you have a junior player and you live up in the Charlotte area, give Jeff a call. Let him know you're interested. And also the Play Golf America five lesson series. Mm hmm. We'll look forward to getting that out and go see him in his new office. Yes. Don't jump up the steps, though. Just walk. It's much easier. <laughs> Jeff, thanks for coming in. We'll Thank see you, you next time. Right. Yes. This edition of Tee It Up Grand Strand has been produced and broadcast by the Zeus Radio Network for thegolfdirector.com. When visiting the Golf Director, be sure to check out our featured golf course pages where you'll find up-to-date information about course conditions, specials, and much more, especially the River's Edge site. Need help with your next golf vacation? Hashtag just call Dave if you tweet. Hashtag just call Dave or give us a call on the traditional phone line at 844 go golf one That's 844-464-6531. All of our TGD programming is archived for listening and viewing on demand. 
So to catch up on a show you may have missed, including the Underwear Show, click on the TGD Radio <laughs> and TGD TV tabs in the menu Man. at thegolfdirector.com. We're now available on over 1 billion, that's with a B, billion devices. Billion. Through iTunes, Audio Realm, YouTube, TuneIn, Ustream, Roku, Blueberry, and the Myrtle Beach Golf app, among Good many Lord. others. I know. It's incredible. That's, a lot. That's impressive. This is your host, Shane Coughlin. And on behalf of my guest, Mr. Jeff Pianelli from Rivers Edge Golf Club, our producers behind the glass, Mr. Jeff and Big D, we thank you for tuning in. There's much more TGD golf news and information coming up next, so don't go anywhere.